Welcome to Iron Hand Tech Channel. Today, we will explore the process of recycling metal waste into high quality steel products, understand its importance, and learn about the challenges that workers face by the industry. Here we are in a metal recycling plant. The environment is very basic and workers often lack proper protective equipment. Unlike plastic bag scrap, iron and steel scrap is much larger and heavier. Therefore, sorting and collecting it requires a lot of effort and time. The first step in the metal recycling process is scrap metal collection. Workers will manually sort scrap based on color and specific characteristics of the scrap to determine whether it is iron, steel, or other alloy scrap. In Pakistan, a significant portion of metal waste is imported. Pakistan imported 455,000 tons of ferrous scrap from the United States last year. Raw metal is a common type of waste in the industrial production process, including steel plates, damaged or unusable products, scrap from the production process, etc. Currently, this type of raw material is considered a precious resource, which can be collected and utilized to create raw materials for the production process through recycling. After sorting, the scrap metal is sent to a furnace. This is where the scrap metal is melted in a large furnace. These furnaces can reach temperatures in excess of 1,200 degrees Celsius, melting the metal into a liquid form. In fact, the melting process is very energy intensive. However, the amount of heat required to melt recycled metal is less than the amount of heat required to create metal from raw materials. At high temperatures, the bonds between metal atoms are broken and they turn into a liquid state. At this time, impurities such as sand, plastic, wood, will be burned or float on the surface of the liquid. They are removed by scooping them out. And now the molten metal is ready for the casting stage. At this stage, the molten steel from the blast furnace will be poured into the mold through the pipes The molten steel will gradually cool and solidify in a rectangular shape. Next, the steel billet is shaped through the hot rolling process, the purpose of which is to reduce the thickness and increase the length of the steel billet. The rectangular steel billet is passed through pairs of rolling rolls with gradually decreasing clearance. Under the effect of high temperature and high pressure, the steel billet will be compressed and stretched. In the cold rolling process, hot rolled steel billets are passed through cooling tanks or water sprays to improve dimensional accuracy, increase hardness, and surface durability. Finally, the steel wires are shaped, cut, and bent to the required size and shape. And now they continue to be reused for construction, materials, and other industries. Despite its importance, the recycling industry faces significant challenges. As can be seen at this plant, many workers work in dangerous conditions without adequate protective gear. 
This can lead to serious health problems over time. Metal recycling not only saves 60-95% energy compared to mining and processing from raw materials, but also reduces CO2 emissions significantly. According to statistics, recycling aluminum reduces CO2 emissions by 95%, recycling steel by 70%, and recycling copper by 65%. This is an important step to help protect the environment and natural resources. Facilities like these contribute to the local economy by creating jobs and reducing the need to import raw materials, as well as addressing widespread waste. So metal recycling is not only about turning waste into valuable resources, but also about protecting the environment, conserving energy, and supporting the economy. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it interesting, please like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next interesting videos.